Today in Miss Roberts' classroom, we will be doing a lesson on long and short vowel sounds. Objective. Students will be able to distinguish long from short vowel sounds in single syllable words by participating in a magnetic board activity following this video to complete a correlating worksheet and pass an oral assessment. First, we will start with the short vowel sounds. Let's start with the two letters M and T, leaving a space in between. Our vowels A, E, I, O, and U will go in this space. Let's start with the letter A. By putting A in the middle of M and T, we have made a new word, mat. Mm, at. Notice A is saying its short vowel sound, a. Ah. Let's try another vowel. How about E? If we put E in the middle of M and T, we have made another new word, met. Mm, et. If we try the vowel I and again place it in between M and T, our new word is mit. Mm, et. Now let's try our last two vowels. If we try the vowel O and place it in between M and T, our new word is mot. M -a -t. We have done the vowels A, E, I, and O. What's left? U. If we put the vowel U in the space between M and T, our new word is mut. M -a -t. All of these vowels are making their short vowel sound in these new words. A, A, E, E, I, I, O, A, U, A. Let's look at some objects with names that make the short vowel sounds. This is a bag. The vowel is A saying A. This is a pig. The vowel is I saying I. This is a bat. The vowel is A saying A. This is a bed. The vowel is E saying E. This is a rug. The vowel is U saying A. Uh. This is a web. The vowel is E saying E. Uh. This is a mop. The vowel is O saying A. Uh. Next up, long vowel sounds. Today we are going to talk about magic E. When magic E is added to the end of a word with the vowel, it makes the vowel say its name. Let's say we have the word mat. M -at. If we add magic E to the end of mat, we now have a new word, mate, and A is saying its name. Let's try another word. If we have the word kit, k, it, and we add magic E to the end of the word, our new word is kite, and I is saying its name. Should we try one more? Absolutely. If we have the word rop, er, op, and we add magic E to the end of the word, our new word is rope, and O is saying its name. Let's look at some objects with names that make the long vowel sounds. Here is a cake. The vowel is A, saying its name, A. Here are dice. The vowel is I, saying its name, I. This is a wave. The vowel is A, saying its name, A. This is a rope. The vowel is O, saying its name, O. Each of these words has magic E added to the end of it, so the vowels are saying their names. Now that you've learned about long and short vowel sounds and magic E, it's time to go try some on your own.